Hello everyone, and welcome to your main event Monday, and we're doing a little bit of a different thing here today, guys. You might notice Dorian Yates is in the center, and not only that, but their photo shoots. Dorian lost his match, according to me, Hattie Shupin, but most of you guys disagreed with that, and I really appreciate you guys not attacking my thumbs down, even though you disagreed with me. You know, nothing but love and respect for you guys. Hey, that's what bodybuilding's all about, right? You know, if you disagree with me, then you let me know in the comments section. And I really appreciate all of, all of you guys hitting the thumbs ups on that one. And just to show the love and respect that I have, I am going to give you guys Dory Nates in this final. And hey, makes it all that much more interesting next to Momo Beneziza, huh? And of course, Dallas McCarver here first. I mean, 2017, what a beast. He's definitely winning on the structure. Definitely winning. I would even give him an edge overall over Dorian Yates because his conditioning, pretty darn good. Then you look at little Momo Beneziza, the giant killer for sure winning in my estimation. If you ignore the size, the sheer size, but he is inch for inch. Probably the most muscular here and the most conditioned as well. Photo shoots. Go to the front lat spread and another photo shoot for Beneziza here. A little unfair, but heck, you know, let's give him a, you know, give him a break. He beat Dorian Yates before. Can he defeat him again? Condition-wise, I would say muscle separation, yes. Shape, no. Nobody's defeating Dorian Yates. And food for thought, Dallas McCarver. Silhouette, I mean, he's so big, I would give him an edge over Momo Beneziza. But you look at the quality, midsection, I mean, vascularity, Momo actually might even be defeating Dallas. But let's face it, guys. When it comes to bodybuilding, size counts for something, right? Go to the side chest. And obviously, Dorian was winning that front lat spread like a booming flower. <laughs> He's beating Momo in this shot, too. Momo defeated him. 1990 Iron Man? Was it the Iron Man? No, no. Knight of Champions. Knight of Champions, 1990. But is he defeating him here? He lost to him at the Olympia. I think Dorian's just too big from the side. Wish we could see the wheels. I can see some glutes sticking out from Momo. He needed to open his chest up a little bit more. Heck, I'd give the overall victory here to Dallas McCarver. Look at the wheels, guys. Upper body, sure, Dorian catching him, but not in the wheels. Look at the hanging hamstring. Side tricep. This is a situation where Dallas, he's going, he's tilted thously, and Dorian's tilted Beastly. So, I would give an, uh, an edge to Dorian anyway, because I've seen other pictures of Dallas. He's big, full of muscle. Dorian's so conditioned, and not only that, but most of all, it's his shape. The midsection, chest booms out. And if he was tilted a little bit more thisly, he you could see a, a good chunk of a tricep hanging out there. And some calves to match with Dallas too. They're playing calf for calf here. Poor little Beneziza. From the side, he just was did not have the impact that he did in other shots. A little thicker in the midsection. He was so full. He had that boom muscle fullness and sacrificed a, a little tiny waist, in which case Dorian does have, and he does get the victory in the side. Turn around. Now, this is where it was debatable. Now, Dallas... He does not have the conditioning that uh, Hattie Chupin had. And that's why I gave Hattie Chupin an edge. Because of the lower half. The back was close. It was close. Hattie Chupin's back is awesome, guys. But so has uh, Momo Beneziza. The Knight of Champions, he defeated Dorian because of the back. But Dorian's back got so much better after the Knight of Champions, 1990. To the 1992 Mr. Olympia. I mean, he's pretty much matching Beneziza here. Whereas, Knight of Champions, he looked a little skimpy. I hate to say it, guys. No disrespect meant to Dallas McCarver, but he might be falling uh, last in line. Rear double by Dallas. He looks a little bit better in the rear double, I think. Now, I don't know. Just lacks the lat insertions. Now, Dorian's, they're unsymmetrical. Nobody likes to talk about it. Dorianites don't like to hear about it. They hit thumbs down as soon as somebody starts to mention the... You know, it's like the 
Dexter Jacksonites hearing about his small calves. He don't want to hear about it. He just pretend it doesn't exist. Well, it does. And symmetry does exist as well in my judging system. When it comes to that, Momo Benaziza, he's right up there with Samir Banu. I'd give him a win, guys. I'd give him a win. And you know, you guys, some of you guys might disagree with me. Keep in mind, this is a product of Fan Requested Friday, and it's tweaked the judging less about you know size and more about aesthetics. And they did hold their legs a lot different back in the day. Go to the abs and thigh. And when it comes to the aesthetics, there can be no argument, guys. The guys from the 90s are going to win, in particular the abs and thigh. Unless it's Hattie Shupin. He's like a throwback. That's the thing about Hattie Shupin. Looks like a Sean Ray, for goodness sakes. Mm, Sean Ray versus Hattie Shupin in the comments. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good one. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. No. I would give this one to Dorian. He's got the, the much smaller waist than Momo Beneziza. And like I said, Hattie was a throwback of the olden days. I think Beneziza, he's so full. He's so full. He's like a precursor to what was going to happen in bodybuilding. So could be a situation where I actually do a Momo Beneziza versus Hattie Shupin matchup just to make up for the lack of Hattie in this one. Maybe that was my plan from the beginning. Hmm? Anybody? Anyway. Most muscular to finish this one off? Dallas McCarver. No disrespect to the man. In a true bodybuilding atmosphere. Heck, the judges might give it to him. Just due to overwhelming size. The guy was so big everywhere. Massive. From the calves to the quads. The arms so huge so huge but the thing about it is in a lot of the shots he was not only losing the aesthetics but also the conditioning so conditioning aesthetics flow versus just size maybe in a, a, a bodybuilding you know on stage in the IFBB they might go for the size but here at Mark's Max Muscle that's two against one my friend but here in the most muscular, of course, I look at the size. I look at the muscularity. It's not an abs and thigh, after all. And at the end of the day, I would give Dallas a slight edge over Doreen Yates anyway. But man, look at Ben Aziza. Like I said, he's like a modern day competitor. Look how full he is. I mean, yeah, your midsection gets a little bit full, but look at that vascularity. Each and every place. Coin toss between him and Dallas. Might go with Dallas, though. Look at the size of his arms, guys. He's a mastodon, a huge, a true horse, a true horse at the bodybuilding stage. But on this day, he falls in third place. And you know, third place, not that bad here at Marks Max Muscle. But I mean, it was the opponents. Dallas did nothing wrong. It was the opponents, like I said. And ladies and gentlemen... In second place, Momo Beneziza. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? He got 15 points. 15 points. So close. Could not, actually couldn't be any closer. Here's your winner, Dorian Yates, 1992. With 14 points. He got one less. Can you imagine that one? So, the, the moral of the story is, <laughs> look what bad judging can do. Look what bad judging can do. Dorian Yates, he didn't even qualify for this matchup. So we let him in anyway, and he won it. That actually happened back in the 70s, I think. I did a video on it. I'll link it to you if I can find it. <laughs> Guy, I think it was Al Beckles. Al Beckles, he didn't even win his weight class, and they, they were going to riot. So the, the judges said, okay, we'll let, we'll let the top two guys into the finals of their weight class. And then Beckles went on to win the whole show even though he couldn't defeat one guy. Anyway, anyway. Funny, funny. That's bodybuilding for you. You never know. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys, if at least you found it entertaining. Entertaining. A little piece of entertainment. It's worth its weight in gold. Have a great day.